Hey everyone, it's David Bombal coming to you from Cisco Live in Barcelona. And I've got a guest here, Bertie, from South Africa, is that right? Yes, I'm originally from South Africa, now living in the Netherlands. Great. I don't really know Bertie apart from social media, and I think I just want to say something before I talk more to Bertie. Social media is really important. If you want to make a name for yourself, if you want to get known by others, use social media. So Bertie, do you want to tell everyone, sort of, how did we get to know each other? So, it started a couple of years ago, um, actually about two years ago. Everybody was talking about David Bombal and his <laughs> trading material, and I started following a YouTube channel. And I found actually a couple of the, the, the videos really, really good. Thanks. Uh, especially for like the labbing stuff in uh, setting up GNS, um, setting up packet tracer, getting everything going. And it really helped me a lot over the last, I'd say, two, three years has really boosted my career. Oh, that's great. It's, uh, it's my, you know, my pleasure. It's always nice to hear stories like this. But I mean, I got to know you because you started tweeting as well. Yes. Um, so. I actually read a little article um, about promoting yourself and promoting your career and all of that. And it's not about like creating a Facebook profile or whatever and just blundering out any information that you can possibly get. It's, you really need to um, be involved and focus on certain things. Uh, for me personally, I focus on network security. So I post a lot about that and network engineering um, and the upcoming uh, technology like DevNet and all of that. So I try and post about that. I follow people like that. I eat, sleep, and breathe uh, network technology, basically. So that's that's my main focus. And that's where I picked up guys like yourself and um, other other YouTubers, also uh, people on, on Twitter, and they really helped a lot. Yeah, I think it's really important. I mean, it's you should tell us more about that. But uh, I mean, it's interesting how social media can really raise your your profile and I mean it's because you were sending tweets to me that we started this conversation and how you told me look are you gonna be you know at DevNet or at Cisco Live and that's basically how we set this up yeah so um, everything well today wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for for Twitter basically and uh, social media so it's been really good um, the the way that you can boost your career and meet influential people is really good uh, you really need to 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 promote yourself and focus on that yeah i mean i've often said on my videos you know social media stay off facebook stay off stuff and when i talk about that is like don't just passively like you said just read nonsense you know use it as a tool to enhance your career and i mean it sounds like that's worked for you it has. Um, like there, there are some uh, some really interesting people that I follow, including yourself. But if you if you're interested in in networking and network security or anything of such sorts, follow those kind of people. Don't go and create an account and then post fluffy kitty <laughs> gifs and photos and stuff and expect that uh, you know these kind of influential people are going to listen to you so you really need to pay attention and be careful what you put out there because also remember the moment that you put something out there it is permanently out there it's very good advice so, I mean I wanted to ask you actually what do you have a blog or uh, some kind of way that people can get hold of you um, yes so I've got my own personal Twitter account which is uh, at Bertie uh, at Bertie Brink actually and then I've got a Instagram account that's a network sec geek um, and as well a Tumblr account the exact same and every now and then I post some labs pictures of labs and uh, work that I've done over the years so yeah if anyone is interested in seeing uh, some of my work you can follow me there well, that's great so I mean tell me Bertie how did you get into Cisco you know can you tell us a bit about your story and how it's helped you in your life? So, um, my background was quite rough. Um, I don't, couldn't really afford going to university. Um, and I had a couple of friends that were in IT and all of that. And they said to me, hey, listen, um, go do some IT certs. Yeah. So I originally started off with A plus, N plus, the usual stuff. Um, and then I actually had a friend that was uh, doing CCNA. And it basically just took off from there. He got his CC, uh, CCNA. I, I went and I did my CCNA. And honestly, that opened up so much, uh, so many doors for me. This was probably a good 10 years ago, back in 2009. 
um, and it's just opened up a lot of doors for me and it still is opening a lot of doors for me. I mean, I'm standing right here with David Bombal. <laughs> Um, so yes, uh, I would really like to do my CCIE and just see where it takes me. But I mean, if you're someone out there that uh, can't really afford going to university and getting a degree or something, uh, the, the certifications are really a good way to, to uh, show your employer that you know what you're doing. Yeah, it's, you know, I really love stories like this. I mean, Birdie's story is, is so cool. And I mean, I didn't know that until you told me now. It's so nice to hear stories where you know, doing your CCNA can change your life. And I mean, I've said that many times, but that, that's what happened to you, is that right? Yeah, um, it's, it took me basically from, from being a, a desktop support guy to being net, uh, network admin. And it's literally taken me in a couple of months, leaps and bounds ahead. Um, I mean, I'm here in Cisco Live. Um, as I said, originally I'm from South Africa. So, I mean, it's brought me all the way to Europe and uh, really enjoying uh, what my reward has been for working hard. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if we said that on camera, so I just want to uh, say that again. Bertie sent me a tweet last year in December, I think when I was in South Africa, and he was trying to like meet up with me, or November, I think it was. But then um, later on, he, he, I saw in his, on his Twitter account that he was in Holland, so you've just moved to the Netherlands, yeah? Yes, uh, once again, uh, because of the skills that are in demand globally, um, the transfer actually happened very, very quickly. Uh, it was right after we spoke in November. Um, I got my placement in December and here I am. Yeah, that's really cool though. You know, that's actually something that I'd like to say as well is I've got a degree. It didn't help me when I moved to the UK. I've got a CCIE which definitely helped me, and that was your experience as well. You know, Cisco certs are transferable. Yes, um, I've seen a growing number of requests as well, even within my own current company right now for, for Cisco certification. Um, there's also other vendor-specific uh, certs out there, but there's a growing number, and I'm not writing off in a, a degree. I'm currently working on my own as well. But if you, if you need to get out of a rut that you are in, like a rut that I was in myself, um, you really need to just hit the books, uh, put in the hours, and you will receive the rewards, uh, especially if you chase something like this. Yeah, I think that's really true. It's, um, it's all about doing something. You can't just say, I want to be this, I want to be the other. You've got to actually put the hours in and put the work in, and that's what worked for you, yeah? Yeah, um, look, a lot of people also say like I don't really have the time to, to study and I've got family and kids and all of that. It's like I know some guys that uh, have got family and kids and have got terminal illnesses and stuff and they still go out and get their CCIEs. Yeah. Um, go in, do an hour of study every night. Um, like one of your videos also, do the deep learning. Yeah. Um, Put away your cell phone, switch everything off, close the door in your room, dedicate that, even if it's just a half an hour, just dedicate that time that you are studying into what you are trying to achieve. You cannot go and work for someone eight hours of your day or 10 hours of your day and go home and not work on your own dreams because then you're just never going to achieve anything that you want to achieve. And yeah, that's what I've been doing and look, I'm really happy. <laughs> That's really cool, man. It's a great story. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's nice to hear the proof, if you like, like your example, rather than, you know, a lot of these motivational videos can be just fluffy nonsense. It's really nice to know that it worked in your life. I mean, the same happened to me. You know, it helped me as well. Getting CCIE, getting certified made all the difference. Yeah. So tell me, you were saying earlier that you are big into network automation. I mean, that's why we're in DevNet. So do you want to tell me a bit about your sort of your journey from traditional to like becoming in, getting into programming, that kind of stuff? Yeah, so um, I'm still testing the waters out. Um, but I've come across a lot of times where, you know, you, you had a client site and they ask you to do a deployment of 150, 200, 500 devices and you're out there but you know can't we just like automate this and have a base policy and push it out and then 
see what happens, whether it's firewalls, whether it's routers or switches. I mean, you can do it through anything, through um, whether it's Python automation or uh, using Ansible to uh, push your uh, playbooks down. Um, this is something that people really, really need to look at. Um, yeah, sure, when you're uh, configuring maybe two or three devices, it would be quicker to do it through the command line or GUI or something. But if you're doing a large-scale deployment, which most of your stuff are going to be if you're in a service provider environment, it is better to, to automate it. Um, and just help yourself um, automate uh, whatever you're doing in order so that you can focus on more important things and less on the nitty-gritty small things. I think that's a really good way to put it. So, Bertie, we've been speaking for a long time. I, I can talk to you for a long time, man. This is great. So, do you want to share anything else for you know everyone who's watching? You know, What's your advice for someone who's young, who's just starting out? What would you advise? I mean, you've been doing this for 10 years, you said. Um, what would you advise for someone who's trying to study for the CCNA or is just starting out? Okay, so for someone like really just starting out, um, go out, do, do a CompTIA A+, um, see where it takes you, get a desktop job. I mean, I really enjoyed desktops, f uh, fixing up desktops. That was probably the most fun I've ever had. Um, not that I'm not enjoying what I'm doing now. Um, and then see, see where it takes you. Maybe you're into, uh, into data centers, maybe you're into networking, maybe you're, you're into development. I mean, DevOps, uh, DevNet, you can do anything. But the best advice that I can give someone is you don't need to do four or five hours every night. If you can, do it. Um, be careful not to burn out. Um, but at least spend that hour every every night or every second night or something but when you study study guys like if you are a little bit financially uh, strapped and you really want to get it, uh, get certifications going and want to learn um, YouTube is an amazing place uh, there's a lot of channels out there that uh, teaches you the basics uh, from scratch to to a very good intermediate level um, to, to get you going where, where you really need to be, be going, to be honest. Use it to, to basically promote yourself. Um, the, the best would be like LinkedIn, Set, uh, setting up a good LinkedIn profile. Uh, don't just go and create a LinkedIn profile and use it like Facebook and invite all your friends and stuff. Uh, maybe to start off, invite your friends or um, if friends, family friends that could assist you in getting a job. Um, but it is a professional environment. It's just like uh, your CV. It's an online CV. So have a good photo. Have a presentable photo. Um, have a good intro. List your skills. List what you are passionate about. List what kind of person you are. Because this is what recruiters are going to see. If you are looking for a job, list your certifications. Um, promote yourself that way. You don't need to go and have a flashy um, Instagram account to, to attract anyone. Yeah. That's not really going to get you anywhere. What you want is a good LinkedIn profile where you are presentable and I think a, a big problem with today's um, environment that we are in is that there's so much Facebook and other things uh, going around that people are just posting useless information. Um, I mean, who want, you're not out there to, to promote like a cat video or something like that. You're out there to promote yourself. So use um, LinkedIn, post some uh, articles, news articles that you've uh, read. Um, read and get involved into your, into your career that you are making. I was going to say, sorry to, sorry to um, bring the mic here. So, sorry to interrupt you. I, one of the things I've seen you do well is use Twitter. Um, I mean, during the sort of the break, we you mentioned that LinkedIn opened a lot of doors for you. Um, but what I've really liked about the way you've done Twitter is you like always involved, you answering questions, you giving your input, you saying positive things, and people get to know you. Yeah. Um, and I mean, you told me that when you moved from South Africa to to the Netherlands, um, just having a good LinkedIn account, people are already going mad trying to contact you. Yeah. Yeah. So. I try and combine my uh, LinkedIn account with Twitter as well. Um, I don't 
tend to post personal things on Twitter. Um, actually, I try and not post any personal things online in any case, because uh, once it out, is out there, it's out there. Yeah. Um, but the, the main thing is like try and combine these tools. At the end of the day, social media is a tool and you must use those tools to promote yourself. Um, remember that your CV is like a a pamphlet that you're giving to a recruiter on a product that they're going to buy or something. You, you're just another commodity basically, but you have to promote yourself as a good one. Yeah. Um, so yes, I, I use I use Twitter quite, quite a lot, but purely for um, studies um, and things that I'm interested in. Uh, so there's, there's a lot of networking stuff going on there and I try and combine it with LinkedIn as well. And this seems to have gotten a lot of attention from, from recruiters. Uh, so yeah, this is, if you're really looking for a way to, to find a job, um, using these kind of tools in the correct manner will get you very far. Yeah, I mean, that's helped you. I mean, you've moved country and you said doors have opened for you because of, you know, you putting your name out there basically, yeah? Yeah. So look, I'm not uh, anything fancy like a CCIE. I'm still working on my CCMP. That's fine. Um, but, you know, promoting what you know, you don't need to be the best of the best of the best to, to get anywhere. It's about how you conduct yourself, how you promote yourself um, and what people get to see about you, um, what kind of person you are. Because once you build that kind of uh, environment, a, a social uh, presence, uh, people and recruiters also know like okay this guy's actually quite passionate about what he does he's quite involved with what he does he might not be the best but he's passionate about it and we can always teach uh, teach that kind of stuff to him you can't teach someone a personality unfortunately <laughs> I, <like that. laughs> I think that's very true I mean it's I mean I'm a CCIE got it many many years ago and I like to say that one of the first things I learned when I became a CCIE is how little I know because there is just more and more to know. And stay humble is the big thing. And like you said, you know, put out a good view of yourself. You know, don't be an idiot. Don't be nasty on social media because it'll come back and burn you. You know, be positive, help others is I think a, a big thing to do. Yeah, I think definitely uh, never ever belittle someone. Um, never think that you know everything. Like yeah. there's, a, there's a lot of times, I mean, even with some of the questions that you post like, I don't really want to answer this. I really don't want to answer this. But, you know, it's like you, you still do it. Um, at the end of the day, you find out that you were right. You're just a little bit shy to say anything. But, um, yeah, I mean, don't don't show off. Yeah, don't show off, but don't be don't be embarrassed if you get it wrong. Who cares? I mean, we're all about it's all about learning. No one knows everything. Uh, and we all learn every day. So Bertie, that was a quick one. I just wanted to you know, add that to a video. So thanks very much for spending some time with me here at Cisco Live. Cool, yes, it was awesome. It's, cool. it's great to meet you in person, man. Yeah, nice to meet you too.